Hi guys, it's Jeff here at Karaoke Machine. Today I'm wanting to address a bit of a persistent myth that, well, it's been around the machinist community for probably a decade or more now, and that is the precision flat stones. A little bit of background, so you take me seriously here. I've been in this industry pretty well my entire adult life. I've personally had and used a set of those precision flat stones for over a decade now. And they work great. There's nothing wrong with them, but a lot of people misunderstand them. This all originated back with the video uh, Robin Renzetti had done, and I don't mean this to be disparaging or taking away from him in any way. He's an incredibly talented toolmaker, um, more so than I am, without question. And he's made a lot of really good videos and made a lot of information freely available that you just wouldn't see otherwise. So this is in no way meant to be disparaging or taking away from that, but I think he kind of got it wrong with these flat stones. The big argument of them, as I'm sure anyone watching this is aware, is the stones are ground to a perfectly flat surface. These should have essentially uh, no friction between them. So once you've ensured they're nice and clean by your quick lap, one finger should move them around, like a puck floating on an air hockey table. And you can take these on a precision ground surface, such as a mill table or lathe ways, and scrub them as hard as you want, and you won't take any metal off, and it'll only remove any burrs and high spots. Now, these stones sitting in front of you are not precision, flats, precision ground flat stones. These are lapped. And I'm going to argue that they're actually the same thing. In the, with the precision flat stones, the whole argument is they're ground with a diamond wheel, and that, that will cut the abrasive particles off flat, and that is why they perform the way they do. The problem with that is the next step after grinding them is you have to lap the stones against each other until they float nicely. What do you think that is achieving? It's the same process as lapping. I've suspected this for quite a few years now, and I decided to test it out for myself and see if I was looking at this the right way, or if there really was something magic about surface grinding the stones with a diamond wheel. This is a pair of stones I bought off of Amazon last week. These are standard uh, machine knife stones. These are not even the expensive Norton ones. These are some no-name brand that were about $18 Canadian a piece with free shipping. And these did not see a surface grinder. These were lapped against each other using the Whitworth three plates method. And they are absolutely indistinguishable from the sets of surface ground stones that I have. What's happening with these is the silicon carbide particles, much like how when faceting a diamond for jewelry, it's the diamond is wore down with diamond abrasive and that cuts it. The silicon carbide will wear down silicon carbide and it achieves the same effect of cutting down the abrasive grains. So, is this saying there's anything wrong with the surface ground stones, that there's an inherent problem with them? No, absolutely not. There's, the finished product, there's no difference. The difference you have with surface ground stones is either you have to go buy a set of them from someone, or you have to have a surface grinder set up with diamond wheels and the time available to grind a set. With these, with no prior flattening, out of the box to a finished functional set of stones, took me around half an hour of hand lapping. That's something readily attainable that anyone can do. Whether you have a hobby shop and you want to make a set for your garage and you don't have a surface grinder or, and don't want to spend the couple hundred dollars that people charge for pre-ground sets, or if you're a shop owner who has all the equipment to do it but doesn't have time to dick around setting up a surface grinder to make a couple of stones... Or if you work somewhere and don't have proper precision flat stones to clean up tables, but they'll get you regular stones, well, in half an hour you can make a set. That's the whole point of this argument. As you can see, I mean, these are every bit as good. I've tested them for the sake of filming. I don't have a good enough setup to go around the shop and show them in a whole bunch of uses. But I've tested them on a few things, a couple of parallels, a bed of our new lathe that's 
nice and clean, and these behave exactly the same as any of the surface ground stones I've ever used in the past. So, anyways, I hope people found that helpful, and I hope people don't take this video the wrong way, but um, there you have it. Lap stones are every bit the equal of the precision ground stones, and they are a lot more obtainable for the average person.